Well, I'm Tim Cook. I wanted to show you our, uh, in our cat claw line at Cook Saw Manufacturing, our dual tooth setter. And uh, I want to show you the features that make this dual tooth setter uh, a better setter than any other setter on the market and, it, and how fast it is. One of the first things you'll notice is it's made heavy. It's made out of heavy steel. It's not moving around. As you saw, the ease of operation, I index it forward. It sets two teeth at the same time coming up. I index forward. It sets two teeth going down. And, and you can also notice that I'm not, that's not a break arm type push. It's, it's an easy push. It overlocks. What's real important about this machine is when you see both of these come together and then they open out and the blade is left in the center. It does that as well on the, on the dial indicated measuring blocks. But when this thing comes together, it comes together metal to metal all the way down. We're going to show you a little later on where it goes on the cam down on the bottom. It comes metal to metal. When metal to metal comes together, there is no spring. So it's kind of a lock and, and it's a gauge. And then we have the bending dies that, that come on the top and they do their job. And so it comes metal to metal, the bending dies bend, bend the tooth, so you get a very accurate set every time. And then with the dial indicators, it comes metal to metal. When that metal comes together, all of this is fashioned in a such a way that you get a dial indicated reading of the teeth after you set them. So while I'm setting the next set of teeth, I, I get a reading of the ones that I just accomplished. I kind of like to start off on a little low side and then kind of work my way until I get it where I want it. And then you can just go around this blade at rapid pace. You can pick the pace up of your handle, both of your handles. Now, um, one of the, the things that I really like about this, this setter is it's fast, it's heavy built, and it, and it does a, a good job. And, and that's what we want to do. Now, a lot of people are looking for perfection in setting. and I'm a proponent of trying to get your flatness more perfect than I am your set, but, but this machine is very accurate. Um, as far as any of the dual tooth uh, setters on the market today, this one is, is very accurate and it's sturdy. You can count on it for consistency and you get to measure the teeth at the same time while you're on the, uh, while you're setting the blade. So you know what's going on. It, this thing is fully adjustable. I can adjust these knobs, uh, on each side, adjust the dies in. Uh, I can set my, my dial indicators. There's plenty of room to slide them for the different two spacings. It will do from a half inch right on up to beyond the, the inch and an eighth. That's the widest uh, two spacing on the market today with no problem. Uh, it's easy to set up. It, it's just easy to run once you understand the basic features. On the cat claw sharpener, I want to show you uh, from this angle some of the features that make this machine strong. And you know the old saying, only the strong survive. These things are a surviving tool. Bottom plate, half inch plate steel, about 10 inches wide. We've got half inch plate in, in our clamps that, that rotate up and clamp on both sides. All of our machine work is done by CNC machines so that we get accuracy in every part every time. We get very good repeatability from those CNC machines. The shafts that these things pivot on are one inch, it's a one inch diameter shaft. The shaft on the bottom which, which carries the cam is a, a one inch shaft. Our clamping system here is unique and uh, it, what it's got is a spring on the outside. We've got a bar that kind of clamps and holds the blade in place. When I release my handle, I don't want my blade to slip back with my handle. And, uh, and then we've got little adjustments on here so you can adjust the clamping. There's a bearing inside of here that the back of the blade rolls on. What's very important, easy adjustment there as well, but what's very important is when I index forward, and I hold the, the handle forward, that makes this blade so it cannot be lifted. And holding the blade down on, on top of these rollers is very important to set accuracy. If this blade is allowed to slip upward in any manner, then it gives a different set each time. So when we index this forward and hold here, then I come up with the handle and I get an accuracy of set. 
because I'm able to hold it down in place and, it, and it's in the same location every time these jaws come together and set the teeth. We have adjustments in on each one of the, the jaw clamps on the front and in the back. The ones in the back you can't see, but, but there's adjustments back there. So we can come together in the center every time like this. The reason we want to fall open like that is so the blade can pass through with no damage being done to the tooling or to the tooth. Most important, we don't want to damage the tooth. But if we damage our tooling, then that starts to give us a variation in set. We don't want to damage our dial indicators because if we rub them, then we get a groove in them, and then we'll get a variation of, of reading in the dial indicator. So it's real important for this machine that we, in our design to open and let the blade slide through. Now, if you will notice, some of the, some of the dual two setters, and, and one in particular, only opens from one side and it opens like this. Well, the blade then drags by the tooling, and that's not good. And the other thing that some of the, dial, uh, some of the dual two setters have is a heavy spring, and this handle, it, it becomes very hard to set, and it only sets in one direction. So it, it, it cuts your time, <clears throat> it makes your speed time be double, and, uh, or actually half as much, and uh, this one will go twice as fast. But the other thing that I hear people complain about is with those heavy springs that push this up and then push it back, they get tennis elbow from just pulling this handle. Never heard that with our machine. And, and I think it's very important because we designed it so it's easy on the arm. And when you're doing a lot of repetitions like this, as you get old like me, you, you, you get tennis elbow and things like that from tooling that you use, and we don't want that to happen. But I think those are important issues uh, that you deal with when you're deciding what to buy when you're looking for a dual tooth setter.